Okay, we're here on the Lacey Range today. Nice, beautiful Friday. In fact, it's uh, July the 2nd. Uh, we've had a rain come through yesterday, so everything is looking real good right now uh, and feeling good. A little bit of humidity, nothing bad. Uh, so I thought I'd get out here. <clears throat> this is the uh, second time I've shot video for the, as y'all may recognize it, the Beretta ARX. This has been SBR'd by me and uh, got the uh, Nikon spur on top of it with the real MOA dot. Um, I didn't think, I, I, I really didn't feel like I did it justice the last time I uh, videoed it. I was in a hurry and uh, it, you know, it's a good shooting gun. And uh, I just, I really didn't bear down. I was in, you know how mentally, if you if you in a hurry to go somewhere or do something, and uh, that's where I was at. And I thought, well, I've got the 16 inch barrel for it. I thought, well, let's, let's shoot it 100, see what it does. And uh, then we'll come back and put the 16 inch barrel on and see how much movement I've got. And with a th three MOA dot, uh, with either barrel, uh, we don't need to be expecting uh, cutting edge accuracy. But if I can stay around that uh, inverted triangle, which is three by three by three, hey, I I'm happy with it. Um, like I say, one of the most uh, most innovative guns that are out there right now. These have got hard to find and uh, have gone up in price substantially. Uh, like I say, one of the most innovative guns out there right now. And I, I'm, I know it all comes down to looks. It looks goofy or something, but uh, uh, you know, I, I would take it over just about anything I've shot in the last few years. Uh, and especially, uh, man, it, it is light. Something that you got to carry all the time. Can't beat it. Of course, I, I bought the rail and put on it down here. Not that I really needed it, but I just liked it better. Uh, and if if I had my druthers, if I could do something to it that I would want to do, uh, these side uh, side rails would go. And I think I would feel, especially over here with my thumb, I think it would feel much better. Uh, I've tried I've tried several things. But uh, I, I still keep coming back to this. And uh, with that, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else to tell you about it. Uh, one in seven inch, uh, one in seven twist barrels. Uh, it's got a uh, two choices on your uh, gas system right up here. It's got normal and uh, oh. Uh, if you're starting getting slug or sluggish or something like that, you got it. But uh, let's get down. Let's do some shooting with it and see how it does at 100 yards. Give me just a second and we'll be right back. Okay, we've got everything recording. Got five rounds loaded up right here. Standard GI 20 round magazine. All right, let's see what she does. I'm gonna shoot with just a front rest, no back rest. And I'm gonna put the dot right at the bottom. Top of dot and top uh, inverted triangle right together. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, this is not the uh, standard uh, trigger. Uh, the trigger that comes with this gun <clears throat> or to be outlawed it's so horrendous it is horrible horrible uh my little gauge topped out couldn't even i don't know what it pulled it's 12 pounds or something like that but uh got a uh aftermarket trigger in here and it's the ticket so let's see what she can do what she does Okay. 
Y'all saw that? Uh, the gun zeroed at 200. And we're shooting uh, BLC2, 27.3 grains, with uh, Hornady Full Metal Jacket, 55 grains. Got two up there right together and one in the triangle. That was uh, three rounds. I thought I had five in there. Uh, let, let's go. Let's go two more and just see what it does. How's that out of a 10-inch uh, barrel? Okay, here we are. We'll, we'll give this uh, shooting at 200 a, a go. We'll load up five rounds. Okay, here we go. Going at 200. All right, I have to look at that. The ones that hit, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to swap these out and start wearing my uh, ones with uh, the uh, microphones and stuff. Work. Uh, I I didn't hear the hits. Uh, I can see that that it was moving, but we'll y'all were watching it. We'll see what happens and uh, see how it done. But uh, with that. Let me uh, reorient everything and we'll swap the barrel out and see what we do. Okay, on review of the uh, video, looks like I did throw one, it went up high and, and my zero is up just a little bit uh, higher than what I needed it to be. Uh, may take care of that. Right now I'm not gonna mess with it. Now what I wanna do now is come back to 100 and 200 and shoot it with the 16 inch barrel. <clears throat> and uh, what y'all see, here, we've got an empty rifle, empty magazine. I'm just gonna put this in here to make sure that my bolt does not go forward while I'm doing this. But take the barrel out, like I say, you gotta have the bolt out of it. There's a lever on each side, or not a lever, but a button, just like a Glock and uh, pull down on it let's get it right here well there we go 
still a little warm. Nothing, nothing impossible to hold though. All right, now let's take those 16 inch. We'll pop her in there and got uh, that, that's all it is to it uh, now as y'all can see left and right I'm pretty good um, you know 200 with the, the red dot I, I should have hit all five of them but hey we'll we'll go with it we got it uh, and I have one that went up, up nicked the head I believe is uh, yeah almost went over the very top of it but I think I would do much better with a regular scope. Um, and eventually I'm going to put one on here. I, this red dot, I'm just not a big fan of, of, of any red dot. Uh, and I think it's more to do with my eyes, but I, I definitely, I don't have to have a whole lot of magnification. But I, I see a much clearer, sharper picture uh, without a... In this case, the red dot sort of blurs a little bit on me. Uh, but uh, let, let's let's get the camera back on 100. We'll come back and shoot the same spot, and we'll see how much it moved my point of impact. All right, hang on. Okay. <clears throat> All I can say about this is if Beretta machined this excellent enough that where they stay, stay in the same point of impact, they have done something. I have not tried this before, so this will be the first time y'all get to see it as I'm doing it. Okay, it looks like it's up high. I want to aim low. Okay, I might have to watch the video on that because uh, I didn't hear any hits. We'll, we'll see where it's going and uh, see how bad off it is. Hang tight. Okay, <clears throat> I reviewed the video. Uh, high left is where we was impacting it. And. Uh, I think, looking at the impacts, if I shot at the bottom right of the target, I, I would have hit it. But it is, it's not nowhere close. In fact, uh, this out of the box, I would have missed a, a human at that distance. So we are a no-go on beyond changing barrels and uh, having the same point of impact with two different barrels which is not unexpected i mean like i say if like i said before this if if it, if, if it had done it i would be truly truly amazed now okay there's no need to go into to 200 because we know that's i'm even going to be further left and high so let, let's try putting the 10 and a half inch back on it and see if i maintain point of impact with that and once again, empty magazine, empty weapon. Levers down. Yeah, come on out of here, baby. Ah. What are you talking about light now? All right, let's go back in with the 10 and a half inch. Yeah. Ah. There we go. Okay, let me get the camera going again. We'll do we'll go back at 100 and see what it does. Okay, now this will be really interesting. The uh if we can maintain 
you know, we've, we've gone back to the 10 and a half inch. If we can maintain point of impact after taking the barrel out, I will still be surprised uh, if we can do it. Uh, it's a lot, there's a lot to do to get a gun to do that. Whenever you see takedown, like the little Ruger, uh, some of the the Japanese takedown with the uh, Paratrooper 7.7 .7 Type 99s, uh, some of your old lever actions that had that capability. Um, for them to go back and be dead on, it's some precise machining. And something that's, that's made a bunch of them, I just don't know if you can reasonably expect it from but we'll see what we get here. And uh, like I say, 10 and a half inch barrels back on it. We're at 100. And let's see if it impacts as it originally did. Yeah, you're hit. think about that it moved a, a little bit uh i'd still be good on tagging a, a combatant or anything I, I mean i'm gonna be happy with that uh it went it did go up a little bit higher but uh it, you know the the barrel is changing uh continuous rail up here nothing's changed here so you know click it in i mean it, it's 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 in there good Like I say, it, we, we could go out to 200. I think I'd even be higher. But uh, pretty good little test on that. And like I say, the, um, the Beretta is very, very innovative. And uh, I, I think what I'm going to do, because uh, I, I want to shoot this in one of the matches at, uh, at Paducah. And... Uh, as some of you don't know, of course, this has been the SBR, and uh, you you got to notify the ATF if you if you go across straight lines. Which which uh, where we're at here in in Paris is, uh, I mean, we're only uh, 15 miles from the the <laughs> Kentucky border. Of course, I like going to shoot at Paducah in their matches, and and uh, I love shooting, taking something different every time. And uh, what I may do, and because it's an iron sight mat, I may go ahead and get my iron set for the 16 inch, and then uh, leave my uh, red dot on for the uh, uh, eight and a half or uh, ten and a half red. Right? And uh, that may be a viable solution for me. And I, I think I am going. I'm going to change uh, the sights on here. Nothing's wrong with this Nikon. I just see better. Do, even if it's a one power magnified optic, I see better. And uh, I think we, we see the potential of the rifle. And uh, I, I forget what they call it. Uh, uh, with your eye. And, and I may have a little bit of that uh, where the, uh, the red dot is not perfectly round. And and in fact, I, I know when I throw a magnifier on one, man, it looks so much better uh, than what I, I can see here. So we, we'll probably swap it out and see what we got. I've got an EOTech and uh, magnifier sitting in there that probably need to be used. So I may put it on here. But once again, thanks for being here with the Lacey Range and listen to me ramble. I, I do love this gun, though. I think I, I, I would recommend it to anybody. And I, I hope, I hope the bread and now that they move to Gallatin, Tennessee, that they, they go back producing these. Because uh, they truly are some very nice rifles. Uh, they need to change the trigger in them. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I can deal with, like I say, I'd love for these to dis disappear. I know, I know you 
probably can grind them off and do all that, but I'm not going to do that to this gun. But uh, I, I really wish they would do something uh, about the trigger. And I know everybody wants to have plastic light, but in this case, guys, it ain't working. That uh, beast of a pool that you've got. But uh, come back and see us and uh, come shoot with us sometime. See ya.